sensitive. Oh, my hair's looking a little wild. All right, my hair's all over my body. Welcome to today's video. So, uh, today's video is going to be a little bit different, or I guess today's vlog, whatever. Um, it is part of the wedding series, um, but what I thought, okay, let's rewind a little bit. Okay, so I have never been the type to have a day, a morning routine, a night routine, um, any type of you know, regular skincare, like I would use a couple products here and there, like a face cleanser, but I probably really only started caring about my skin and skincare, I want to say my second or third year of university, so relatively recently, within the past four or five years. Um, but going up, leading up to my wedding, um, I have wanted to create a hair care regimen, a skincare regimen, um, like just a, a body care uh, regimen that would enable me to feel as confident as possible going into my wedding. You know, I want to feel confident about my body and feel good and all that kind of stuff. I'm sorry, I have hair all over my body and I can just feel it. I thought I would make this video to talk about my night routine and my morning routine. I don't have like 20 products that I use. I have like three. <laughs> so this is just my easy day-to-day -day routine that I try to do every single day and night. Uh, and we'll start with night routine. All right, so the first thing I do is I go to the shower and I wipe off all my makeup using this Yes to Micellar Water. And I have these makeup eraser, like, cotton round things that I use. And I just, as you can see, aggressively wipe the makeup off of my face. I'm not too concerned if I get everything because um, I do use a cleanser in the shower that you'll see later. So I continue to aggressively clean. And once that's done, I'll put on a mask. This time I'm using a Summer Fridays sample mask from the Sephora package that I ordered. And I have this, if you watch my haul, it's the mask applicator. And so I've been using that and it just helps make everything go on in a nicer, more even coat. And like I said, I don't have to get my fingers messy, which is really, really great. So here I'm applying and I leave it on for 10 minutes. After that, I turn on the shower. And I go in, as I said, this is a spin brush that I got at Winners, and I've been using this L'Oreal Hydra Total 5 Ultra Cleanser, along with my Function of Beauty shampoo and conditioner. I can't remember what I put in it. I ordered it a while ago. And then I use this Y Way leave-in conditioner and a Way oil, and that's what I'll put in after the shower. I'll just spray those in. I'll really just work get into my hair and then I will just kind of comb through the product to make sure that anything that gets to the bottom is kind of lightly put on top. I do like a variation of the curly girl hair method so I try to use products that have no silicones in it um, and as you can see I then put my hair in this like head turban and I, rather than putting my hair in and swirling it in like I used to do, I've learned that it's better to kind of scrunch it at the bottom. So just a heads up, if you have curly hair and you have a hair turban, kind of scrunch it all into the biggest part of the turban and then turn it. You'll see there's no hair at all where I'm twisting, and that just helps the kink stay in more. So after that, I look at myself and look at my face. <laughs> And I noticed that I had extra mascara kind of under even after double cleansing. So I just got a little bit of micellar water on a cotton stick. Oh my gosh, what is that called? And I've just taken, I'm just taking off the extra mascara now. Oh my gosh, I can't remember. Cotton stick. Cotton tip? What is it called? Somebody help. So, after that, I have put a hot towel on my face because recently I actually got a pore vacuum. 
So I've been really liking it and what I'll do is I'll heat up my pores with a hot towel like you can see. Um, like you can really see. It looks like I'm suffocating myself but it's just a hot towel and that way when I go in with the vacuum it can suck out everything a little easier. So I just got this one off of Amazon. It's the x -Breen brand. And as you can see from my facial expressions, it's aggressive. And I use the soft function. So just a heads up. So then I go and I sit in front of my vanity. And the first thing that I like to put on is my Laneige Lavender Night Cream. It's water-based. And I just rub that in as you can see, extremely gently into my face. And by extremely gently, I mean apparently I don't care about my skin or wrinkles, and I just put her in there. And after the Laneige cream is in, I go in with this Earth Harbor Aqua Aura Eye Cream. I've really been liking it. I've been seeing a huge difference in my under eye circles since I've started using this. And I put a little bit under my brow, too, because I have one eye that's kind of a lazy eye. So, And then I go in with my Laneige Sleep Mask. I like to use this oil, actually, on my toes. I know it seems kind of weird, but it helps your nails not get too, too hard. And it also just moisturizes your feet. So I got this one at Winners <laughs> again. Then I go in with my Calm Spray. You would have seen that in my Cosbox unboxing. And I just kind of put that over my pillow for the hotel experience, get cozy, and scroll my phone. Whether it's TikTok, whether it's reading a book. I've been reading a lot from the Toronto Public Library, but like online. Or whether it's just Facebook, Instagram, whatever. I spend maybe 20 minutes just kind of scrolling. And then it is time for me to take off my head towel. And you'll see how curly my hair is already just from sitting in that towel and letting the kink kind of set in and then I go to bed and that's it <laughs> okay so then I wake up the next morning and I usually start by scrolling on my phone um, I'll watch TikToks I'll read the book Something I've been really into is I've been really into the Harry Potter a Hogwarts mystery game. So you'll see that in just a second. I have actually been obsessed and during this isolation it's been something really great to do just because you have your storyline that you follow. They have little special events that you can do every once in a while as well and that's really fun. <laughs> this is an interesting shot to film. Um, but as you can see, Hufflepuff, my house, we won the house cup. And of course, this is not sponsored. I'm just, I'm just me. But after I'm done lazing in bed for probably about an hour, what I'll do next is I'll go and I'll brush my teeth and get ready. I like to brush with activated charcoal in the mornings. So uh, these are just activated charcoal pellets that I got at Shoppers Drug Mart and then I open them up and put them into a jar and I'll put a little bit on my toothbrush as you can see just a touch and then I'll wet it and I'll brush my teeth and it usually looks like Bellatrix Lestrange. I look like my teeth have rotted inside of my skull and this just helps whiten them. I don't do it every morning but I try to most mornings and of course after I'm done with the charcoal brushing I will follow it up with a regular toothbrush, usually Crest or Colgate. Looking back, not sure why I was so intensive with showing you my toothbrushing routine. And then I will wipe my face because as you can see there's charcoal everywhere and I'll have a couple of vitamins in the morning usually as well. Vitamin C, vitamin B, things like that. And I'm still brushing. Wow, that was that was interesting. And big grin. Ah, there she is. So after that, I try to make my bed every morning. It was definitely something I hated as a child, but I now find it just adds a sense of peace. Also, if I'm teaching, I teach where the camera is. So you'd be looking at my bed and if it's a mess, it'd be really obvious and ugly. So I always try to make it. It just makes me feel a little more organized and like I have my life together. A little bit more 
So I put up my comfy pillows. That's my husband. I love it for reading or when I'm just lazing around on the couch. On the couch, this is a bed. And I'll put a little throw blanket, so that's nice if I don't want to unmake the bed. Pro tip, always have a little throw blanket at the end of your bed to get cozy into. And then I change into my workout clothes. That was so hard to do. It wasn't perfect, but it's as good as it was going to get. And I usually jump right into my workout there. So I lay out the yoga mat and I open up my Chloe Tang workout. So when I filmed this, I was doing the 30 day challenge, flat tummy challenge. I've now moved on to the summer shred, but I've really been liking her videos and every time I finish a program, I just pick a new program. So after the workout, I will usually just get ready. Uh, I was actually on the phone with my mom on this next clip and it, deodorant. I forgot about the deodorant. Yeah, I use the Hug Me Natural deodorant. I think my body's still getting used to it, but I've been liking it. So I'm talking to my mom, so that's the conversation I'm having. And every morning I put on the Hydro Boost Neutrogena sunscreen. I like it because it is water-based, so it's not too oily for my skin. I just waxed my upper lip, which is why it's it's red. Yeah. Then I'll go in with the Clinique Moisturizing Gel. Uh, this is my current day cream. I don't use the same day cream every time because I do find your skin gets used to it, but I have been liking this one. Um, as you can see, the bottle's almost done. And because it's summer and I want my skin to be super hydrated, I'll go in with the rose water that I got in a FabFitFun box a little while ago. I just really want everything to be super hydrated. So after that is when I grab my Dr. Brandt no more needles eye cream. This I also got in a FabFitFun box. It's okay. I don't love it. It is a little bit color correcting. It's got kind of an orangey peachy tint. So it's nice for no makeup days. It does minimize a little bit, but I don't think it's life changing. And that's it. That's what I do in the morning.